when Hacked Knife started, it was not our intention from the very beginning to make a, a feature-length 82-minute uh, comedy movie. We were just making short videos, making fun stuff. We were just going to, well, the idea was just like post it on to YouTube and make these short little 5-10 minute things for fun. And then, um, but by the time we were ready to do literally just the second one, um, I was already telling Pete, like, dude, we're shooting so much material, like, why don't we just make this into a whole movie and just expand it? And uh, he thought it was funny enough, and we both sort of liked it enough that that made sense. And once we started doing that, um, there, a little bit of a, like, electric charge of energy sort of came around the project, uh, and people that were in it sort of got excited about it, like, wanted to see it, friends and family wanted to see it, we would drop little teasers and stuff, and... Um, funny enough, the first teasers, they said it was like coming in 2011 or 12 or something. This is like way back when we started, and of course it didn't come out all the way until 2016 or 17. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, yeah. So, so uh, the script wasn't like totally finished. It, you kind of wrote it as it went along. Yeah, it's, it's weird because like Pete and I did basically write pretty much almost every word in the movie. There's like there's a few very small moments that were improvised, but like we we wrote mostly the whole thing. But uh, it didn't necessarily feel that way all the time because it was collaborative and also because from the very beginning we never sat down and like wrote a script of Hectic Knife for page from page one to a hundred and then like pitched that as an idea. Like the actor that were showing up on set they didn't get scripts at all they just we just told them basically what to say before they were on camera or we sort of talked about the scene like before we shot but um so yeah there is no like document on anyone's computer anywhere that is like the hectic knife script that like doesn't exist um but we but it still was written though the whole thing was written by us for sure yeah i mean that's kind of surprising to me because it seems very uh uh um What's the word I'm looking for? Um, it seems very much in the, not like formulaic, but very much structured in a way that would seem like it that it was written out, that there was a, there was like a, a an intention there to, from beginning to end, this is how it was going to start, this is how it's going to end, here's everything that happens in the middle, you know, that sort of thing. The, the middle was the hardest part to work out so we spent about a year and a half shooting and at the end of that time we had a rap party we filmed the rap party and made that a scene in the, in the credits and stuff but at that time we had a rough cut that was about an hour and 50 minutes long so like 10 minutes shy of two hours and um you know it clearly needed to be way shorter and make more sense and not drag on so much and stuff so it really part of what took a good extra three so years to finish it was massaging and evolving and sculpting that giant rough cut down shorter and the middle was the hardest part because there's not really like a story there's no arc no character learns anything or makes any changes or anything but we did have you know the setup of the hero versus the villain with the logical thought of that they had to like fight at the end in some way mm -hmm. we, we never even we literally never even defined what the stakes are of the fight and of course we addressed that in the movie but like still there was certain logic to that so to me like the first say 20 minutes were fairly easy to put together um, you know introducing characters and introducing stuff like that and the end was fairly easy but the middle was very difficult because there really wasn't much story happening and I was always afraid it was going to drag um, the other thing I'll say about it too is that to me because there barely is any real story and there's like it's a very thin plot as well um, the bagel scene was always essentially the climax in the sense that what it's really happening on, a, on the, like, I guess deeper, I don't know if it's deep, but the, the, the layer underneath is that, like, it's weirdness building on weirdness and trying to become weirder and out weird itself. And, of course, the bagel scene is the weirdest part. And so, to me, it made sense that that's sort of the climactic joke uh, set piece, if you want to call it that. Um, and then everything else is sort of just, like, ending the, the plot. But, um... But I appreciate you saying that, yeah, because it was it was really sort of uh, written as it as it went, basically. Yeah, no, I mean, and the, and you and what you just said uh, does make sense. That in it it does seem like um, there is sort of like a um, a motivation for the character to fight the the bad guy, which that's established. 
Um, but then, yeah, it's like from there, it just builds from like one one joke into another ridiculous joke until like, yeah, you said with the bagel scene where that's kind of like the most ridiculous thing in the movie is, you know, where you're just like, what what's going on? Why why are they doing this? This is, and then even that joke kind of like reaches its peak too with, with the scene with you pulling out a bagel at home from your stomach. Like it just keeps on growing and growing. Yeah. And, <laughs> It was, it, to, to us, like, the whole thing was an excuse to be silly and do weird jokes and experiment with jokes and stuff like that. Uh, and jokes of all kinds, from visual stuff to slapstick to, like, talking and uh, absurdity and non sequiturs and stuff. Um, so the, it's, the plot was just like a skeleton to hang all these jokes on. And it was totally secondary to our mission of, like, telling these jokes. Um, so yeah, it was kind of like lucky that we established enough of a hero-villain relationship to where they, they could like fight each other basically. But yeah, we were our whole thing was just like how what how can we make this you know weird and, and still like make sense basically. 